Members of the United Nations Security Council say the vulnerable security situation in the Central African Republic requires a national and inclusive approach and the support of the international community to solve. Member states emphasized the importance of inclusive elections, stressing the need to catch up with the deadlines to conclude the transition phase by the end of 2015. They also encourage the transitional authorities to ensure an inclusive approach in the implementation of the recommendations of Bangui Forum. Meanwhile, the president of the council, Nigeria's Professor Joy Ogu, commented on the closed-door meeting held by the Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon and Security Council members over the issue of sexual exploitation and abuse by United Nations forces. The Secretary-General got to a point where he drew the line to reaffirm the zero tolerance on this matter, on the, on the matter of uh, sexual violence uh, against women. All contributors, all troop contributors must be aware that the point of no return has been reached and that this will be taken very, very seriously. It had to happen at some point and that's the line, the dividing line. The Secretary General Ban Ki-moon held a video conference with the heads of peacekeeping operations and other officials to emphasize a policy of zero tolerance on sexual exploitation and abuse by peacekeepers and other challenging issues. The Secretary General had earlier expressed displeasure with the recurrent reports of sexual violence by United Nations forces over the years. I will reiterate that leaders must report allegations immediately, investigate thoroughly, and act decisively. A failure to do so will have clear consequences. I want member states to know that I cannot do this alone. They have the ultimate responsibility uh, to hold individual uniformed personnel to account, and they must take decisive, preventive, and punitive action to victims. I say we stand with you. Please come forward. Please feel safe in knowing that we will do all we can to respond to these outrageous crimes. From the United Nations headquarters in New York, Joy Useago, NTA News.